Hello friends, welcome here at Team Re Academy. In this session, we will understand the requirements of Clause 6.4.5 of ISO 19011-2018, that is, audit information availability and access. In this chapter, we will cover the requirements of Clause 6.4.5, which includes requirement of an extra A1 table A1. Now, we will tell the outcome of this subclause. This subclause enables the auditor to understand the requirement of clause 6.4.5 of ISO 19011-2018, that is, audit information availability and access. And in this chapter, we will understand the audit methods, that is, physical audit or on site and virtual and remote audit. Now we will discuss the small introduction of this subclause. In this subclause 6.4.5, we will understand the requirement of audit information availability and access. In this clause, we will discuss the methods of audit like on-site and remote audit and what are the requirements for remote and on-site audit. Let us talk about the requirement of the clause of standard. The audit methods chosen for an audit depend on the defined audit objectives, scope and criteria, as well as duration and location. The location is where the information needed for the specific audit activity is available to the audit team. This may include physical and virtual locations where, when, and how to access audit information is crucial to the audit. This is independent of where the information is created, used, and or stored. Based on these issues, the audit methods need to be determined. See Table A1. The audit can use a mixture of methods. Also, audit circumstances may mean that the methods need to change during the audit. Let's discuss what clause requirement says. The methods of audit selected on the basis of defined audit objectives, scope and criteria, as well as location and time duration. The location is where the information needed for the proper individual audit activity is presented to the audit team and this may also include the locations of physical and virtual audits where, when, and how to access and get the audit information is critical to the audit. This is independent of where the information is created, used, or stored. Based on the issues, the methods of audit need to be defined and the audit also can use the mixture of audit methods and audit circumstances may mean that the methods need to change during the audit. This table shows the method of audit. First is physical and on-site audit. Second is virtual and remote audit. In the given figure, it is defined the human interaction in on-site audit on conducting the interviews, like for verification of understanding the quality policy, filling the checklist and questionnaire with help of auditee representatives. And for remote audit, the human interaction is required on conducting the interview via different modes like video calls and observing the work performed with remote guide, on filling the checklist and questionnaire and conducting document review and auditee participation. The process of audit where no human interaction required at on-site that is on document review such as records, procedures and policy review. Observing work performed, conducting the on-site visit, filling the checklist and sampling such as on products and on the remote audit. The no human interaction is not required in the conducting the document review 
such as procedure and policies. Observing work performed via surveillance means considering social and statutory and regulatory requirements and analyzing data. The on-site audit is conducted on the location of the audit client and remote audit can be conducted from anywhere location other than the auditee location. Interactive audit activities involve interaction between the auditee's personnel and the audit team. Non-interactive audit activities involve no human interaction with individuals representing the auditee, but do involve interaction with equipment, facilities, and documentation. Dear friends, we have now come to the conclusion of this training session. See you soon with an exciting new topic. Till then, goodbye.